these little girls had big dreams and they would say, I'm going to be the prime minister. I'm going to be the governor general. I'm going to be the mayor. I'm going to be the minister of this. I'm going to head the United Nations. What I'm afraid of, based on the conversations I've had with them, now they tell me, we saw what happened to you and other women who dared to put their hand up. We don't want any of that. What I'm afraid of is if we lose that generation too, who say we don't want any part of this leadership, well, well, what did we all work so hard for? The whole point of my mom bringing us to Canada was so that we would have voice, we would have choice, we would have opportunity, we'd make the world better for others, and then we'd widen the path for others. I wanted you here tonight. Because if there are any little girls in your family, or little boys, genders in between, who are feeling like, oh, don't dare raise your hand, I want you to go home and tell them that it's possible to dream big, to win big, to lose big, and to get back on your feet again and again. Indeed, that is the only way things are going to get done. I want you to go home and tell them to not be afraid of failing big. Because as my friend Tia says, the world is in trouble because people have forgotten how to dream big. <laughs>